I'm Katie Goodman. I'm the youngest of the Goodman sisters, and I'm also a mental health specialist with Good Minds. Today I want to talk to you about mindfulness, but maybe in a slightly different way than you're familiar with. So mindfulness is already hard enough to practice as it is, but then you add in all of the stress of 2020, having to work from home, maybe having to teach your kids from home, and we just end up doing this entire lifestyle that's the opposite of mindfulness. We're constantly multitasking and trying to do everything at the same time. We're trying to focus on our Zoom meeting at the same time that we're trying to cook dinner or maybe answer a text or attend to your partner and give them attention too. Or maybe just try not to get on each other's nerves. There's so much going on that you're doing more than we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be focusing on one thing at a time, give it our full attention, and that makes us more efficient and productive at it. But instead, we're trying to do everything at once, which essentially just makes us more stressed because our body isn't meant to do all of that at the same time. And I know we all know about stress. We all know it's bad for us. It can lead to pain and it can lead to depression and other problems like that. But maybe you don't know that it actually causes premature aging. So constant daily stress is actually associated with telomere shortening. And telomere shortening is a biomarker of aging. So what happens is, as they shorten, we are unable to renew fat loss and tissue loss as well as we used to, and it causes premature loss of tissue. So you start aging sooner than you normally would be if you weren't stressed. So there's actually been some really interesting research about telomere length in association with how much mindfulness you practice. So in the lower tier, maybe beginner tier, you're practicing 5, 10, 15 minutes a day. Then there's like a medium tier, which is maybe you've accumulated hundreds of hours. And then you have like the guru level tier, which is thousands of hours. You go on, you know, mindfulness retreats every year and you go on days of meditation. And those people have the longest telomere length in association with their age. So they're aging slower. So while our apps are really good for, you know, practicing five to 10 minutes a day, I don't think that that's the extent of it. And I don't think that these gurus who are living mindful lives have longer telomeres because they're practicing on an app for 10 minutes a day. They're incorporating mindfulness into their entire life and the way that they are in the world. So yeah, it's good to practice on your app, but I think it's more important to approach everything you do throughout the day with mindfulness. So what does that look like? Maybe you just think about how you would live in the world if you were your dog. Henry, if you think about it, notice how your dog, when they're walking on your walk, they're smelling everything, they're looking around, they know how to get home because they're paying attention when they're walking. Like they know where they are, they know their surroundings. So maybe try going out for a walk without your phone. Maybe look around at your neighborhood, notice a tree you've never noticed before. Maybe a smell that you've never even noticed. Um, maybe you can be more mindful with your spouse or your partner or your kids. Maybe put away technology and don't think about work when you're hanging out with them. Actually listen to what they're saying. When you're in your Zoom meeting, maybe just be in your Zoom meeting and check your emails after. Just do one thing at a time. So if you want to live mindfully, just be like your dog. And if you don't have a dog, then find something else that's intentional. Take a bath. Wash your face. Do something that makes you feel really in the moment and focus on it. I mean, good mind really does equal good skin. Well, thanks for watching our video and make sure to subscribe if you want to get our updates. Go ahead and like it and leave your comments down below. Please leave any questions you have and we can continue the conversation.